All right, guys, this is what it's all about, the game. Your training does not matter unless you can execute in the game. So today, we're gonna show you how to prepare for a game like a pro. Let's go. All right, guys, as we said, preparing for a game is one of the most important things that you are going to do as a player because that is what you're playing for. If you really wanna make a difference in the sport, you have to show up for games, all right? The best players show up when they are called for. So when does preparation actually start? That's the question you should be asking yourself because it's not a day before a game where you think, I play tomorrow, I should probably get ready. No, you're too late. Game prep actually starts weeks in advance, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna take it like you are in season as a pro would, and that means your game prep starts at least three days before the game. And the first thing you need to know is your sleep. What that means is that you're probably gonna to have to give up some of the things you like to do. No FIFA until five in the morning. Don't go party with your boys for three days before the game. Wait at least until you've scored the hat trick in the game, and then go out and party. Then sleep, and then do it again. Okay, but the point that we want to make here is that your sleep will actually give you a superpower. All right, this is documented, well documented. We'll throw up some stats and all that stuff right here on the screen so you can take a look at that stuff. Guys, it just doesn't exist. There's not a player that can perform at his peak performance without sleeping properly. So what does that mean for you? Everybody is different. It doesn't mean that for one guy might need to sleep 10 hours, one guy might need eight, one guy might need six or seven. You're gonna have to understand yourself, but once again, this is gonna be a theme throughout the video. Be honest with yourself, and the best thing that you can do is learn your body and exactly what it wants, and then deliver that, that way you can ball in the game. So, food, pretty important, yeah? Okay, well, seriously, it actually is incredibly important. Think of everything that we give you here today as a building block. You have to have all of these pieces together in order to execute a perfect game, a perfect season a perfect career for that matter. Guys, all of these things will allow you to actually go at your best, and food is one of them. Guys, we're not gonna sit here and tell you that you have to eat a specific meal that we recommend, like spaghetti carbonara with peanut butter and gummy bears. Sounds delicious. Fuel of champions. Probably not, but the point is, once again, you have to learn yourself. There's gonna be so much information out there for you guys to figure out what is the best thing for you to eat. The best advice, we can give you, and the best advice I have gotten from all nutritionists and guys at clubs is they actually tell you what to avoid. And that's something that we can give across to you now. I don't need to name every fast food restaurant out there. You guys are already well aware, pretty much, of the stuff you need to avoid. These carbonated drinks, stuff high in sugar, uh, all of these non-natural fats, that's the stuff that you have to avoid. I personally love having a perfect balance of protein, fats, and carbohydrates. That's what works for me, but that's what works for me after testing. So the goal here right now for you is to choose a specific meal that you think will give you the fuel you need. Try that for a specific period of time during trainings throughout the week. If it's working, then you keep it. You've found something that will benefit you. If it doesn't, then slowly add other things and try and do the research to understand what will give you the best fuel. Just remember to avoid the things that will hold you back. Oh, now, I'm pretty sure this one is not gonna be a lot of your favorites because it involves routine. It's called stretching and injury prevention. And most of you guys don't wanna do it. You know how I know that? Because I've been there too. Who wants to do it? It's boring, right? It's not as cool. You wanna learn the next trick. You wanna do all this stuff. Well, guess what? If you wanna be able to do those tricks for as long as possible, you're gonna have to work on your flexibility and your stretching, all right? That is what will keep you nice and healthy. So, when you're talking about preparing for the game, if you wanna be loose and limber to play 90 minutes, you have to start that a week before, three days before. And then the night before the game, you wanna try and keep things nice, simple, and easy. A nice 20 minute stretch, 20 to 30 minute stretch even. The night before a game is a perfect thing to do before you go to sleep. That is something that all pros do. As a matter of fact, at most clubs that I've been at, the day of the game, if the game is at night, we will stretch and maybe even go for a light run in the morning. So this is something that just you need to get in your head because that is what will give you a chance to actually perform at the potential that you want to perform at. The mental side. The most important part of the game. We harp on it over and over and over again. Alas, you guys just won't listen. You gotta listen. This is the part of the game that makes the super ballers, the absolute super ballers, what they are, okay? So before a game, a night before a game, 
sit down and actually visualize how you want the game to go. We recommend that you even try and make this part of your daily routine to just visualize the game, visualize success, be positive about the game, about what you're doing. This will get your mind to focus you on winning, get your mind to focus on what you do best. And that is what will actually bring out a whole new world for you in the game. All right, guys, that's the vid. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and then leave another like for the Terminator suit that J. Mike hooked it up with. Check out all the links in the playlist stuff from Unisport, and of course, if you enjoy this face, Will John, check him out on YouTube. He's pretty cool. We will see you guys later. Peace.